With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello. So the question is a uniform circular disk which is placed on a horizontal rough surface. Okay. So means there is a friction is applicable. Has initially a velocity V0 and an angular velocity omega naught as shown in the figure, the disc comes to raise after moving some distance in the direction of the motion, okay, then V naught by R omega naught is, okay. So basically you can see this, this is the disc which we have given. Here we have given the angular velocity and the velocity translation, okay. So here it will perform both translation and the rotational motion, okay. So now, uh, and the surface is basically friction. So now we can consider a point which is uh, touching to the surface, let's say, this point is P. Okay. Here we know that basically friction is applicable where friction is basically applicable to the opposite direction of motion. It tends to uh, tends to move here. So the friction will be what? Friction will be in this direction. This is the direction of the friction and the velocity of the this is basically in this direction. Okay. Uh, okay. So basically these are the, uh, this is the what? This is basically force which is applicable to it. Now, so we can write that the we can write the acceleration also. Acceleration for this will be small f by m. This small f is what? This is small f is friction. This is small f is friction. Okay, which is acting between the two bodies. Okay, so this is, uh, so from this we can write the translation motion equation. Okay, so for translation, translation motion. Okay. We know that for the translation motion, we can apply the equation of motion, which is V equals U plus A T. Here U is given to us V naught and A T. Okay. So here from this equation, we can write that finally it will comes to rest. So V equals zero and this is V naught. Here the acceleration will be the negative because it try to oppose it. Okay. It will try to oppose the motion. So we can write minus of F by M multiply with T. Okay, so from this we can write the value of the t will be t will be m v naught divided by f. Okay, this is the equation number one. Now, similarly for the value of the t we can write for the rotational motion also. So for rotational motion, for rotational motion. Okay, write down the same, uh, write down the equation for the rotational motion. Okay, we know that omega is basically said to be omega naught plus alpha t. Okay, alpha is the angular acceleration. These are the angular velocities. Okay, so here we have given omega naught is omega naught, which is the initial velocity. Alpha is said to be what? Alpha is said to be here. The we know that alpha. Uh, we can write down the alpha. in terms of torque. We know that tau will be i alpha. So we can write alpha equals tau upon i. Whereas tau is what? Tau is basically the torque. Okay. So here you can write that it is tau upon i, okay, multiply with what, multiply with t, understood my point. Now, so uh, torque is what, torque is basically for, torque is said to be what, it is force into perpendicular length, okay, so f cross r perpendicular is said to be the torque. So we can write here that the, for the val, uh, omega is basically zero at the finally, this is omega naught at, it, it is in the anticlockwise direction so it will be the negative one so we can write rf multiply with uh, because this torque is due to what this torque is basically due to the friction okay so r is the perpendicular distance for this you can see this this is basically radius which is perpendicular distance for the f okay so the torque of this is basically negative one so rf divided by what divided by i i is what i is basically inertia for this and multiply with t. Inertia for the circular disk is basically mr square by 2. So from this we can write the value of the t which is said to be omega naught i divided by r small f. Okay. Now i as I told you that the i which is inertia, inertia for a disk is that it is mr square divided by 2. This is the moment of inertia for any circular disk. Okay. So now from this when you put the value of this into the equation so t will be what t will be omega naught omega naught divided by r f multiply with half of m r square okay from this r r cancel out 
so we can write the value of the t will be it can be written as m r omega naught m r omega naught to be divided with what 2 f okay so this is the value of the time this is your equation number two now the time is basically same for both for the linear as well as the for the translation or the rotational motion okay so now we can write from the equation one and two from equation one and two okay as the time is same for both so we can write m v naught divided by f okay that should be equal to what that should be equals to m r omega naught to be divided with 2f okay here you can see this this f this f cancel out m is cancel with the m okay and we have to find what we have to find the v naught by r omega naught okay basically this r is what this r is a small one let us write it is in a small letter okay this is small r okay similarly here this this value is in the small r okay okay so here this is small r okay so now so v naught divided by r omega naught okay we have to find this one so this value must be what this value must be 1 upon 2 okay so our answer for this question is 1 upon 2 now let's check the options according to option 1 upon 2 a option is the correct one thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today